One of the cardinal principles of that master planning process was that it was rooted in a concept of community as defined by both faculty and administration, working very closely together. In fact, in the original document establishing that master planning process, that idea is in that document italicized for emphasis, that this was a communal kind of process. So it wasn't the president handing down an idea, etc. Represented the faculty, Arthur Wiebe represented the administration, and they were co-chairs. And the whole process was a communal process. Well, we were part of the 60s revolution. I mean, this was an era of enormous change. Arthur Wiebe had the courage to hire a bunch of young faculty. Arthur went to the financial facility planning kind of sessions. I went to the mission statement kind of workshops. And they very much pushed the notion of the importance of clear mission statements for long-range planning. So the, the idea grew out of that push because we, we were trying to, f to uh, create a clear Christian intellectual community here. And I thought idea was a better concept than mission statement. I wrote it Friday afternoon, had dinner with Arthur uh, Friday evening. I talked about it, he made some suggestions. I went back and revised it. Came back Saturday and typed it up because no one could read my handwriting and gave it to Dalton. And Dalton made a set of suggestions was revised and then went to a long-range planning committee and from there it, it took off. The idea statement itself has been an attractive element in terms of drawing people here from various kinds of traditions. So now we have this large diversity of faculty, staff, administrators here that has developed but the idea has still remained kind of a central piece. And uh, for me, uh, during all of the years that I've been here, one of the great things I have really treasured and valued was the tremendous freedom to you know, innovate, to experiment, to do different things. 